or YouTube. Got a little something different today. Still tree related. We're uh, installing some tree protection fencing, which is uh, quite nice, something a little different for us and a little challenge for us. It'd be good. We're basically doing a, there's going to be a new school built behind us uh, on this on this site. You can see the uh, palisade fence in there, some of that's being retained. Um, but these trees that, that are behind us, there's three here, and there's uh, some more there behind us. There's also quite a few on the far side that are getting done as well. We're installing the fencing around these and uh, putting up to, to all the, fence, the palisade fencing. We've got a uh, machine that we're going to be putting the, the scaffolding poles in, like knocking those in. And uh, yeah, make sure that the, the trees are nice and uh, protected while the ground workers are doing their work and the building works uh, moving forward. are in yeah because if you tighten one end it just the whole thing just clamps up in the day. Could have just done it like from day one. Can cut them. So I've finished all the fencing done, uh, there's going to be an access road coming here on Monday uh, to get onto site and now the fencing's up to protect the trees, so it's all good. Got quite emotional at times, it was definitely a bit quite challenging, uh, just figuring out how we were doing it. Uh, we had a few specifications that we had to adhere to in addition to the British standard putting the fencing up. So. Uh, yeah, worked out well in the end. There's a few underground services we had to work around when we was uh, driving the posts in. But yeah, everyone's done really well. Really uh, got stuck in, and to get it finished late Friday afternoon is a uh, been a good push to get it done. So I'm happy, and the, the trees are happy as well. <laughs>